The poem Bobby Doll appears in Piercy's 1973 collection To Be of Use. By using the iconic image of the Bobby Doll as a kind of a straw man, Piercy criticizes the ways in which women are socialized into into stereotypical feminine behavior. Written as a fairy tale, the poem Bobby Doll suggests that the enormous social pressures on women to conform to particular ways of looking and behaving are ultimately destructive barbie doll is a narrative narrative poem written in free verse it can be read as a parable of what often happens to women in a patriarchal society parables are short narratives with a moral well known parables are found in religious texts such as the bible The moral of Piercy's poems as a warning it urges readers to be aware of the ways in which society shapes our gendered identities and urges women not to compare themselves to idealized notions of feminine beauty or behavior the title of this poem refers to Mattel Mattel's Barbie doll a popular toy for young girls the original barbie tall shapely with blonde hair and blue eyes debuted in 1959 at the American Toy Fair in New York City Mattel has manufactured a variety of Barbies since then everything from action adventure Barbie to mod Barbie to fancy an African American Barbie the poem begins in a fairy tale vein the archaic term girl child being used to underscore the mythic quality of the story the dolls st- stove iron and lipstick are all traditional playthings for young girls but they are also markers of an identity in the making the things that young girls grow to identify with their own social roles The doll presents an idealized image of the body and stove and iron what kind of work is expected of them as adults lipstick perhaps the most sexualized cosmetic for women signals to young girls that they will be valued for their physical appearance the magic of puberty introduces the theme of growth it is a magical time because the body changes rapidly girls begin to menstruate and their bodies change piercy uses the term ironically here as she is also referring to the pain that comes with puberty adolescents become more aware of one another as sexual and social beings and are frequently cruel cruel towards one another the girl child is told she has a great big nose and fat legs even though she is smart healthy and strong The latter descriptors however are seen as being positive only for males not females being good with one's hands manual dex- manual dexterity is a conventional male trait similarly while having an abundant sexual drive for boys might be seen as sowing oats or being real man for girls it is often considered aggressive or the mark of a whore The girl was made to feel guilty for she was for her intelligence and abilities and also for not being slim and beautiful. She apologized to everyone for not being the person they wanted her to be, but all they could see was her body and how it did not match their idea of what a woman should look like. They tried to help to help her be more of an idealized woman by suggesting how to compensate for her unfeminine qualities it is important to understand that for piercy the girl child is every girl not some poetic character with no relation to the real world children are socialized through family and education from the day they are born piercy is symbolically examining the process of how children come to inhabit their gendered identities and the destructive consequences of those processes for women fan belts wear out because of overuse fan belts are also commodities commodities things like barby dolls themselves and piercy suggests like women This simile is interesting because it uses an image we associate with cars and cars are a symbol of masculinity in American culture.
her good nature that part of her that sought to accommodate others exploited that she can no longer continue she offers up her nose and legs the symbols of her oppression but to whom we do not know presumably patriarchal power itself lines 19 through 25 are laden with irony the very person that the ch- ch- girl child could never be is the person appearing in her casket after a makeover by the undertaker a turned up putty nose and a pink and white nighty or features of barbie doll like beauty and femininity it is ironic that the very people who could not appreciate the girl, appreciate the girl child for who she was in life now admire the person she is made to be in death in pierce's fable it is society that achieves consummation for it has made the girl child into what it wanted consummation is a term used to describe completion or fulfillment fulfillment the last line of the poem echoes the happy ending of fairy tales in this case of course piercy is saying that because of women's subservient position in society it is often difficult for their lives to have happy endings the poem symbolically describes the destructive nature of patriarchy a system of social organization in which male prerogative is the ruling principle patriarchy demands women's obedience to men historically this obedience has been externally manifest through law for example until the 20th century women had been denied voting privileges in the united states but patriarchy also exhibits its power through the shaping of mind and self image a good woman is one who conforms the patriarchal expectations she is feminine domestic pretty and accommodating when you are not these not these things as the girl child in piercy's poem is not you will be punished society will shun you you will be judged a freak and your own strengths will appear to you as shortcomings because you will not be recognized for them piercy's poem presents a girl of many talents who is worn down by a image of herself created by others which she could not literally live up to in an act of self sacrifice she cut off her nose and legs those parts of her which did not conform to how a beautiful woman should look this act of mutilation echoes the mutilation in other women endure in tyrannically patriarchal societies in parts of lower equatorial africa for example young girls are forced to have clitorectomies procedures which medically removes the clitoris This deprives the woman of sexual pleasure and is a constant constant reminder that her only value is as a childbearing machine for the woman who will own her. In the West, eating disorders or consequences women suffer in attempting to conform to the ideal of the Barbie body. In the poem Barbie Doll, the girl child fulfills the patriarchal prescription for obedience by destroying herself. She perpetuates patriarchal power in death by being transformed into someone she could not be.